farmers, the choice of seed is the basis for a good harvest later on. For this video, we visited a modern arable farm as they were sowing winter cereals. While we were there, we also looked into certified seed. Late September in northern Brandenburg. We've been invited to join the Uckermark Agra Agricultural Cooperative in Göritz for a day of field work. Jana and her colleagues who work in the field start their work at 7 in the morning. They all have clearly assigned tasks, but take time for a quick chat on a few final details of the first cup of coffee of the day. After a challenging cereal harvest, tillage and sowing are the two final work peaks of the year for the team at the Agricultural Cooperative. On the day of our visit, the daily target for the two seed drills is at least 130 hectares. Jana has a degree in agronomy and is responsible for part section specific management on the farm, among other things. This includes sowing and fertilizing. The decisions are based on information gathered from a dense network of soil scanners a few years ago. This data includes humus and nutrient levels, water availability and of course soil type. Jana also relies on yield data collected by the combine harvester over the last few years. The aim is to make the best possible use of farm inputs when sowing and fertilizing. The maps created are transferred to the job computers in the tractor cabs using a USB stick. The Uckermark Agrar Cooperative farms a total of 3,600 hectares, including 520 hectares of permanent grassland. Winter wheat dominates the cropping plan, with around 1,000 hectares. The cooperative sows four different winter hardy varieties, which differ mainly in terms of maturation. For the past 25 years, the company has always used certified seed. An important reason for not using their own seed is labour efficiency. This is because it takes a lot of effort to process your own seed. There are currently around 530 approved cereal varieties in Germany. In 2023 alone, 32 new varieties were added to this number. It is therefore not easy for farmers to make the right choice. Plant breeders regularly introduce new varieties with improved traits, such as higher yields or drought resistance, which are achieved through cross-breeding and selection. However, the breeding process often takes more than 10 years before the result is approved by the German Office of Plant Varieties and the first bags of seed can be sold to farmers. This is a huge financial commitment that carries its own risks. When propagating certified seed, specialized propagation companies, of which there are currently around 2,700 in Germany, must comply with strict management guidelines. Their main focus is on varietal purity, which is regularly checked. In Germany, the law stipulates that only certified seed may be marketed. When farmers produce their own seed, they may only use it on their own fields. When farmers use certified seed, they benefit not only from the time and cost savings already mentioned, but also from the certified quality and tested characteristics of the seed, such as germination capacity and seed health, and this often has a positive effect on the marketing of their harvested produce. Agra Göritz uses this 8 meter wide seed drill to sow all its winter barley. Unlike wheat, barley does not tolerate waterlogging, so tine sowing produces better results than the disc sowing technique just shown. At 540 hectares, winter barley accounts for a significant portion of the farm's arable land.
This 63 hectare field is just above the average size of the cooperative's fields. Seed rates are again adjusted for specific part sections. In practice, this means that Jana buys a standardized total amount of certified seed per field when she plans her crop and then adjusts the seed rate variability within the field. Where there is a layer of clay, for example, which promises a higher yield potential, she plans a seed rate of up to 140%. Where the soil is sandy, in contrast, and yields must be expected to be lower, she reduces the seeding rate, sometimes to as little as 70%. Her seed drills then make these adjustments automatically in the field. No mineral fertilizer is used when sowing barley. Instead, slurry from the cooperative's own dairy cattle is spread before sowing. The cooperative has 90 hectares of organically farmed fields, including wheat. Here too, it uses certified seed to ensure that no spores or other unwanted contaminants are spread on the field by the seed drill. The fields of the Uckermark Agra Cooperative are all quite close together. It is rare for fields to be far from the farm. The cooperative is quite diversified outside of arable farming. In addition to dairy farming, with almost 1,500 dairy cows, it also operates Europe's oldest agricultural biogas plant, which it built in 1993. However, this has since been replaced by a new plant with a capacity of 2.1 megawatts. The plant is fueled exclusively with manure and slurry and uses no specially grown forage plants. The cooperative has its own fleet of tractors, combine harvesters, beet and maize harvesters. Agra Guritz has 81 permanent employees, including 15 trainees in agriculture, animal husbandry, agricultural and construction machinery mechanics and agricultural services. With an average age of only 39 and a half years, the team is young. The cooperative has 68 members. Many of the members also work on the farm. Here is another view of the impressive agricultural machinery used for tillage. This area is the responsibility of department manager Maurice. With a Quadtrack 620 and a Zerian 4200, there are two real agricultural giants at work in the field. Each machine has a cultivator with an 8 meter working width attached for deep soil loosening. The farmed arable land of Guritz Agra has an average of 43 soil rating points. The fields are ploughed about once every three years. However, they are always ploughed before sowing barley, wheat or maize. But the cooperative has also had positive experience with direct drilling of maize after rye, for example. And they intend to expand this approach in the future. This has been our insight into winter cereal sowing on a modern arable farm. In this short film we've only been able to touch on the subject of certified seed and all that goes with it. You can find more information on the website. The Uckermark Agrar Cooperative also has a very active Instagram account. Have a look and don't forget to rate this video. <laughs>